Hi there, friends. My name is Alexander, and uh, I'm a musician, programmer, and uh, I started playing saxophone around 30, 33, 34 days ago. Been playing guitar my whole life, so it uh, picking up another instrument hasn't been that hard, even though guitar and saxophone have very little in common. But uh, actually, after a month, let's say, I would like to share some feedback for the rest of you who are either already musicians, also in the same territory as I am, or who want to start playing saxophone. I would just like to aggregate all of the things that I've learned the first month and genuinely I believe that uh, if you want, manage to watch this video, if the algorithm gods of uh, YouTube find you and uh, recommend this video. So first and foremost I would like to start to say that saxophone is absolutely a beautiful instrument. I wanted to play saxophone my whole life and uh, I played trumpet when I was very young. The area where I lived in, they just didn't have a saxophone uh, to 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 borrow me. So I they just I just lucky okay, I'm gonna play some some other wind instrument. So it's a it's a beautiful instrument. Now one of the most important things before you buy this instrument, the crucial thing is as you can see this instrument is right now in this very strange alienated looking like box, and you're thinking what the hell is Alex holding? What is this? This white device, this box, basically enables me to play in this instrument because I live in an apartment. This is arguably, I cannot guarantee, I cannot, uh, I would not stand behind these words, but I don't know if there's any more loud instrument than that saxophone. So what I did, I bought this Saxo E-Mute. It was more expensive than the whole saxophone. It was a few hundred euros. And this is what actually enables me to play at home. If I didn't buy this, I bought it second week. First week, my wife pretty much and my kid went crazy. I mean, I'm playing. I was trying to practice at home, and then I had to basically, if you take a look at my YouTube channel, I had to go outside by the beach here in Copenhagen and practice there. You know, I would turn myself towards the open sea just so I don't bother anybody. So, keep in mind, if you want to to start playing this instrument, you absolutely have to get this type of thing or something to mute yourself. Of course, if you live in a house, you have a garage or whatever, that will clearly help, you know, but you will notice you have, if you have researched already, a lot of people around the world, they put, you know, they close themselves in their closets, they put a lot of cloths and stuff all over them. That's not a really experience you want. I can tell you that if I didn't buy this white box, I don't actually know if I would still be playing because I know that there's no chance that I would be able to practice every single day because I had to literally go outside. So keep in mind, the most crucial thing if you want to buy this, it's really loud. I have a friend who bought clarinet uh, at the same time as I bought saxophone basically 35 days ago. He can easily play at home because clarinet is not even remotely as loud as this. Second thing is videos and stuff. What I've learned already as a guitarist, as a musician, is that if you want to learn to play any instrument, you should just focus on playing as many songs as you can. Uh, I've been, as you can see in this channel, pl practicing uh, a lot of songs uh, since I got it. Almost since day one, I tried to use this Saxplained, this YouTube channel that you saw me use. This Saxplained, basically, it's almost like a guitar hero. It's showing you the notes and the position of the fingers on the saxophone, what to hold, what to play. It helped me tremendously myself. Again, um, you will find a lot of videos online. They're going to tell you, play long notes, do 10 minutes of this, do 20 minutes of this. In my experience as a musician, there is nothing more boring, there's nothing more dissatisfying than just picking up an instrument and playing random things for 40 minutes. So find songs that have all of these segments. This is how I played arpeggios on my guitar, sweep picking, hybrid picking. I, I developed all of these uh, strategies on guitar, all of these techniques by simply finding very hard songs, slowing the tempo down and then playing. So do this also with the saxophone. Go to this uh, go to this channel that I'm going to leave in the comments below. It's called Sexplained. Find these songs, a lot of these songs, like I've been playing uh, a lot of these Frank Sinatra songs like uh, Fly Me to the Moon, My Way. And My Way, for example, is a song that has a lot of these long, long notes like... And do 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 I did it my way. And then there's a lot of them, and the song lasts for two minutes, so you will really feel your ambusher. You will really feel the, the pressure in your mouth. It's way more fun for me to play these songs than sit down and play a scale for 40 minutes or 10 minutes, whatever. Don't take me wrong, scales will matter. In my genuine opinion, and you will probably hear the opposite of those experts in saxophone, I'm saying as a musician, as a person who's been, who is in your shoes now, if you're watching this, 
find these songs, do it for a month or two, three, play, develop stuff that way, and then pick a course. Uh, this is my 35th day, and I'm going to keep doing that for maybe a month. Then I'm probably going to enroll in um, Get Your Sacks Together, or there's a lot of these awesome tutorials, awesome instructors. I would really pay every single one of them. But for now, uh, you know, I just want to play the songs. Now, when it comes to Embusher, your mouth position and stuff, I watched many videos on that, and to be very frank with you, I didn't find it very useful. I, I genuinely believe that there's literally no other way to develop your embouchure other than literally picking the instrument every day and playing. I'm not saying that once we reach a certain point of playing, playing jazz, playing, you know, a lot of these uh, like uh, oh, super mega octave, uh, you know, things that they have on saxophone that we will not be able to utilize some of this advice. But for now, you just have to figure out what, uh, like your mouth, your your mouth position, your tongue, your everything has to really fit in for you, right? Separately, because some people have mouths that look like this, like that. Some people have teeth, like this and that. So, so it's really so many permutations that it's impossible to say if you position your mouth like this or like that or like that, you're gonna play like this. I, I'm genuinely convinced by now that that's not possible. What what I did with the embouchure. I took this instrument and I played every single day for 35 days, sometimes 20 minutes, sometimes 40 minutes. First week or two, I played three hours a day because I would go outside and I was on vacation. And yes, you will you will produce a lot of strange uh, squeaks or whatever they call it, a lot of bad uh, sounds that is perfectly fine. They're, these are going to go away as you go. Um, so overall, yeah, I would just say play and uh, make these mistakes and, and try to try to get yourself to play melodies. And as, as with any instrument, as with guitar, with, in, with a saxophone, any, try to have a melody in your head before you try to play it. And this applies to every single instrument. Uh, what I did, what helped me tremendously, what I, it tremendously, so I bought this saxophone on uh, Amazon. Um, it was suggested the, as the best entry-level saxophone for the price, it was pretty cheap. Uh, I live in Europe, in Copenhagen, in Denmark, so we us I usually order my guitars. I have a bunch of uh, audio equipment here. I ordered it for Toman from Germany, but actually this was an exception where Amazon uh, saxophone was actually better than the entry-level saxophone on Toman. One super important thing is that I, I replaced uh, already second week. I obviously researched on YouTube, as you are now, and I got myself a, a C4, Yamaha C4 mouthpiece. It's light and day. It is when I put this thing on and when I started playing relative to the mouthpiece that I got, this entry level made in China thing, it's literally, I was like, oh yes, this is what I mean. So I sounded better. It was easier to play. It was easier to control, less squeaking or whatever. So 100% already get yourself Yamaha C4. It's absolutely fantastic. Again, I'm a complete beginner. I never had any other mouthpiece except this one and the one that came with my sax. But this already is amazing. I'm already kind of looking into some more expensive uh, mouthpieces uh, to buy soon. I know, is it premature? Yes, but it seems to me that the mouthpiece makes such a massive difference in playing. It's Some, some of these professionals say it might as, as much make more difference than sometimes the saxophone itself, right? And of course, with that, I got the awesome reeds as well. So I got the reed case. I got the reeds. Let me actually show you. Give me two seconds. Alrighty, so what I what I got basically, I'm just gonna show you here because I genuinely want you to find this useful. I got this reed case from Toman. It's not cheap. It was pretty expensive. Um, it humi humidifies your reeds, so it comes with this little kind of thing that you can keep your reeds in in it, and it's gonna keep them humid. These are the more expensive. These are the more more expensive um, reeds. I'm gonna find them on Amazon now. I'm gonna share these links. So what I got, uh, I believe it's worth every single penny and I would highly advise you to, to get it. I'm gonna actually right now share uh, certain things with you. Uh, all of the things that I bought, so you can maybe do the same. I can maybe save you some, some hustle here uh, of what you need. Okay, so if I just very quickly go over here and I just share my screen, um, the main screen so you can see what's on my screen. So this is the saxophone that I got. I'm very happy with it, as you can see, it was two, two, 3,000 Danish crowns, so a few hundred euros. Uh, I instantly replaced this this mouthpiece, as I said, that came with it. The rest of the things, I also didn't use these reeds that came with it either. 
the clots and stuff are amazing. Uh, this next strap is also very good. I have no complaints about it. So overall, very happy with this. Honestly, again, I'm a beginner. I do have a long musician experience, but I can tell you that the inst this instrument will last a long time until you need better one. I'm going to show, talk about this later. So also what I got is these mouthpiece cushions. These are the things that you put on top of the mouthpiece and your mouth uh, your mouth is on it. So you got to make sure I would also advise to get this. It's a little bit more comfortable to play, to be honest. And as you can see, it's not even 10 euros for 32 of those. And they will last a long time. I still have a first one that I put on and I think I'm going to have it there for a long time. Uh, and also the reason why I think this can also help is because you will then see at the beginning, are you biting your mouthpiece? Because you shouldn't be doing that. So if you see marks of your teeth here and stuff, it's also gonna kind of have a function of helping you realize, okay, I'm my embouchure is kind of too tight. I should probably not be biting my mouthpiece. Then if we go, uh, before we get to the cables, this is the Vandoren. I don't know how professional uh, guys and saxophone professional guys uh, pronounce it. This is what I got Vandoren. I got the strength too. Basically, for beginners, it's suggested to go anywhere from 1.5 to 2.5. This is the thickness, if you don't know already. So higher you go in number, the thicker, thicker it is. I would presume the thicker it is, you also have more control, but you also have to blow harder, so you have to be more developed as a player. I'm very happy with those, as you can see here. Um, I'll just switch to the, to the main screen. Uh, as you can see, uh, the, the, this one is right now on the saxophone here, but as you can see, uh, that you can fit eight of them here. What I'm doing, because uh, I found this uh, tip on the internet, I'm kind of switching them uh, a little bit. Uh, uh, every day I, I pick one of the three or four because it's good apparently that you develop a few of them because, you know, when you use the mouthpiece for the first time because it's it's piece of wood, it has to kind of get used to your mouth and your playing. So it's going to be a little bit hard whenever you pick a brand new one. So that's why I kind of developed three or four of them. So I, I kind of every day I uh, I pick another one. Uh, another thing to say is that do not touch these things with your fingers on the top. This is like 0 0.8 millimeters. Well, the first one that I took out, not this one, the one that, that came with the saxophone, I broke instantly because I didn't know it's that sensitive. So keep in mind, don't touch them. This thing I bought in Toman, this 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 thing, uh, you, do you have to get it? Absolutely not. I, I, I'll st I'm still going to go and show it to you. Uh, sh uh, show, show it to you. Uh, and I'm also going to show you the saxo mute that I got. So... So I'm going to go here to main, and as you can see here, this is the uh, E-Saxo mute. I left a comment here saying that this is the best thing that I've ever used because it genuinely is. Uh, I could not play without this. And as you can see, uh, I'm going to talk about this in a second. You also have some, uh, you can connect yourself to the headphones, which I'm doing almost every stream. Every video, you can see that on my videos. And also you can plug yourself to your audio interface into your DAW, like Reaper or whatever. So I'm going to talk about it in a second. This is the... Uh, this is the case that I got for the reeds, as you can see. I can highly recommend it. It's just, it's well organized and I'm gonna have this for probably decades. So it's the investment I was happy to make. Lastly, uh, this is the Yamaha Alto uh, Sax mouthpiece 4C. As you can see, this is arguably, actually I think it's the most sold mouthpiece ever. Uh, every instructor that I watched on YouTube uh, suggests this. Every book that I read suggests this. So definitely get it if you can afford it. Going back to this guy, what I also additionally did, I ordered some cables from Amazon. The cables that came with the, uh, this best brass are the, were depressingly low quality. And trust me, this comes from a software engineer. I have multiple computers, hundreds of cables. Cables that came with this are of terrible quality. Actually, one of them didn't work. The headphones did work. What I did, I got this 3.5 millimeter jack to 6.35. So basically, I can now go auxiliary out from the uh, Saxo uh, mute into my audio interface and then I'm usually playing into Reaper. I can record into Reaper, I can add reverb, echo, etc, etc. Even though keep in mind that here this guy comes with an echo as you can see over here. You have this little knob where you can increase the echo, you can increase or decrease the volume of the headphones and this is where you turn on the headphones. This line out basically here goes to your audio interface uh, and then you can you know add effects in your audio interface. So I usually do that in, in my DAW, in my digital audio workstation, instead of using this echo, I can just add effects if I want to make it easier playing for myself in Reaper. Okay, with that, with all of that said, uh, what is to say? Um, um, what is to say? Um, 
this has basically been my my uh, my first month. Uh, I again, it's a beautiful instrument. I would advise everybody to play it. Um, honestly, every day when I'm working and stuff, I'm just thinking about playing saxophone. It's such a beautiful instrument. Again, the only downside is that I miss holding just the plain instrument in my hands and not this this white alienated box. Even though, again, it's a trade-off. Without this box, again, I wouldn't be able to play. So it's either get the box like this or or you have to go somewhere. It's really loud. Uh, I hope these, these tips help you. Uh, play the songs again. Um, I forgot also to say clean your instrument every single day when you finish playing. This applies to every instrument, especially wind instruments, because there's going to be a lot of spit from your mouth, a lot of bacteria, a lot of stuff. Make sure to clean things and... Uh, and that's it. I hope this helps helps you. Um, if you like this, you know I'm, we're on the same page. Probably like my channel, subscribe, and I'm gonna be you know uploading videos almost every day, me practicing. So, and I do this for my old personal archive, but also to maybe incentivize some of you to not be shy to to suck at something because we all have to suck at something because we before we get good at something, right? I wish you everybody the best. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you up in another one. Peace out. Cheers.